Censorship. No call to reason. It's almost impossible to reason with people who censor what you say, what you read, and what you see. My own belief system is that the censor is insecure. That the censor is the very person responsible for the loss of our freedoms. This book, Guinea Pigs, Technological Control, by John Hall, explains a lot. It explains about stalking. It explains about electronic warfare. And it also explains the changes that are going on in our society. Censorship is the end and the enemy of freedom. There is no way a country can develop economically, employ enough people to produce and to increase economic production when people are censored. When people are censored with what they read and what they see and what they can talk about, even vulgarities and obscenities to some people might be necessary to explain what's going on in this world. You might even call them demonic if you were a religious person. And there are some people who believe that there are sinister forces at work in the world right now that are trying to destroy America, the United States. I believe in the Ten Commandments. I don't necessarily believe that they're divine inspired. Even the First Amendment, even the first, I believe in God, but my God might not be exactly the same God that you believe in, but that doesn't mean that we should become violent. That only means that we should be able to talk it out and have a dialogue to be reasonable, even if there are expletives that might be used. They're not important. What's important is to be rational as best you can and to try to understand what's going on in the world without having your emotions carry you away into violence. Violence is counterproductive. There is nothing that comes from violence except suffering and misery. Be calm. Relax. Relax. Be calm. Be calm, relax, relax, be calm, relax, be calm, be calm, relax. World War III, there are some people who believe the establishment, certain people who call themselves or think of themselves as elite, want World War III to reduce the world population. But maybe, maybe just secretly, that there are other reasons, sinister reasons, that many of these people in the establishment, not all, but many of them, are mentally ill. Because if they really wanted to reduce the world population, why don't they volunteer to die and relieve the world of the burden of having too many people? Because essentially, they're selfish and greedy. And I know they believe, some of them, because they've said on video and in print that they think they're better than most people. That is subjective. Whether you are a jazz pianist, a ballerina, or a plumber and a mechanic, They all have their own judgment values, and one might think they're superior to the other, but you try to live without sanitary disposal people, without the sanitation department picking up the trash and the garbage. You try to live in northern climates without snow removal. You try to live 
without the medical support groups like the paramedics, the fire department, and God help us, even the police who have been infiltrated by some kind of ego poison without the sociological or psychological background to even understand what's going on. If a policeman or a policewoman wants to do their job good and for the benefit of law enforcement, they better understand sociology and psychology. They better understand that some actions that seem to be against the law are not really against the law if the person has no realization that they're breaking the law if they're mentally ill or if they're slow to understanding. If the police and law enforcement really want to understand what's going on, they better have a background in sociology and they better have a background in psychology because a snap judgment, shoe from the hips, will not only destroy their career, but will bring all law enforcement people into bad reputation. But maybe, just maybe, these sinister forces want to destroy the United States by giving the law enforcement people a bad reputation and by dividing the society even more than what it is. So control your emotions, people. The world might not be as it seems. There might be groups of sinister people, whether they be in the establishment or they think of themselves as elites, who are bringing about the misery and suffering in the world. And that includes the economic problems that we might have. Maybe they're done on purpose. Maybe they're done to reduce the world population. And maybe there are even more sinister reasons for that. Because some greedy people, some selfish people, want to take over the world. That's my take on it. And yes, I do believe in the Ten Commandments. And I do believe in the First Commandment. That thou shalt love thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul. But, who's God? And what exactly is the real nature of God?